Hey guys, and welcome to the concealer edition of my decluttering series. So I just finished decluttering my foundations, which I will link now. And I figured now it's time to move on to concealers. Uh, like I said in my foundations video, I am well and truly out of space for all my makeup. And I am like much overdue to like declutter my collection. I am a giant makeup hoarder, as you guys are going to see, and I am a sucker for packaging as well. Even if the product is kind of bad, I just love cute packaging. <laughs> But anyway, if you guys aren't part of the family yet, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Also, don't forget to thumbs up this video if you like it. And now, let's let's declutter my concealers. I have a foundation in here. Let's move that aside. So, first up, we have the Charlotte Tilbury The Retoucher Concealer. I love this concealer. It's so easy to apply. It's got a little brush. It's not full coverage, but it is pretty high coverage, and I love the color of it as well, so gonna keep this one. I feel like I'm just gonna keep all of these. Next up I have the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Concealer. If you guys watch my channel you guys know I love this concealer. This has awesome coverage, it's so easy to blend and it's like the perfect color for under your eyes so I'm gonna keep this little baby. Then I have the Makeup Forever Full Cover Camouflage Cream. This stuff is so good at covering scars or blemishes so Definitely gonna keep this one, and it's waterproof as well, I believe. Is it? I could've sworn it was. Yes. <laughs> and next I have the Bobbi Brown Peach Corrector. This is so good on days where I don't really want to wear a lot of makeup. I can just pop this on under my eyes and it conceals my dark circles, so I'm definitely keeping this one. Ooh, I feel like we're keeping a lot of concealers right now. Okay, here's one I'm not going to keep. This is the CoverGirl True Blend Fix Stick. I feel like this never really sets on my skin. It just sort of like melts off any blemishes or anything that I want to conceal. So, definitely getting rid of this one. Then I have the Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer. This concealer, it's amazing. I'm definitely keeping this concealer. It is full coverage, feels so light on the skin, doesn't crease. I love it. So, yes. Yeah. Keeping you. Then we have the Smashbox Studio Skin 24 Hour Waterproof Concealer. Yes, no, I'm keeping this one. I saw Bella Fiore got rid of this concealer in her decluttering video and I was just like, no, it's so amazing. What are you doing? I guess it doesn't work for everyone, but for my skin, this is amazing. This is so full coverage. It's waterproof, doesn't crease, feels so light. And this is an awesome color as well. This is the light neutral color. Such a good color for concealing under my eyes. I've only gotten rid of one concealer so far, cat. Okay, what are we doing? Then I have the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer and I want to love this. So many people seem to love this and claim that this is their holy grail, but I really don't like this. For my oily skin, it just creases so badly. So I definitely can't use this under my eyes because I just get all these lines from it. It makes it look like I've got really bad wrinkles. Uh, and I can't use it on like blemishes either because it just melts off. But I really want to love it. It was really expensive and everyone else seems to love it, but I don't. So I'm giving you away. I do love the packaging though. The next concealer I have is the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. I've seen a lot of people refer to this as a dupe for the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. I really don't like the NARS one, but I really like this one. This one doesn't crease on my skin and it's so good at brightening up areas. The coverage though is not as full as I would like it to be. It's got more of a like light medium, more on the medium side, but I still really like it, so I'm gonna keep it. The next concealer is the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer. I am almost out of this one, and I am definitely keeping it. This was like one of my first true loves with makeup. <laughs> this was my first Holy Grail concealer, and I still love it. It is such a good concealer. Do have a new Holy Grail now, but I still love you, MAC. Oh, I should probably tell you about the concealer. This is so full coverage, it doesn't crease, and it lasts until you take it off. Like, I will go out clubbing and I will wear this and the rest of my makeup will melt off, but this will still be on my face. So yeah, that's why it was one of my first true loves. Next up is the CoverGirl Ready Set Gorgeous Concealer. I'm not gonna keep this one. I feel like the coverage just isn't really good with this one. Like, it doesn't really cover anything. Also kind of a weird color for me. It's quite pink, so yeah. Gonna, gonna get rid of that one. Then we have the Too Faced Born This Way Concealer. You guys know I'm gonna keep this. This is such an amazing concealer. The coverage isn't as full as I would like it to be. It's more of a medium coverage, but it's so good on days where I wanna keep things looking natural. But it lasts a really long time and doesn't crease, so 
definitely keeping this one. Next up I have the Revlon Colorstay Concealer. I used to really like these like probably when I first started YouTube and didn't really know much about concealer. The colors really good with these but like the CoverGirl concealer I feel like it doesn't really cover anything so I'm gonna get rid of this. Then I have the Maybelline Dream Brightening Creamy Concealer. I haven't actually tried this one yet. Still seed, seed, still sealed in its packaging so I'm gonna keep this so I can try it out and then I will decide if it's good or not. Next I have another concealer I haven't tried yet. This is the L'Oreal Paris Infallible Total Cover Concealer Palette. Yeah, I haven't tried it yet so I'm gonna keep it, see how it goes, then decide. Next I have the Maybelline Master Conceal Camouflaging Concealer. I've only tried this once and it was really thick but I feel like I haven't tried it enough times to justify whether I should get rid of it or not. Talking like a true hoarder again. I think I want to keep it for now. I'm going to keep it for now. Give it a few more goes, see how it goes. Then I've got like a little cover effects, uh, what is this? Cover click. I haven't really had the chance to try this yet either, so I'm going to keep this, see how it goes. I've heard really good things about cover effects, so I've got high expectations for this little guy. Then I have the Ye Saint Laurent Touch Eclat. I know this is not technically a concealer, it's an illuminating pen, but it's going to be in this video. So I got this when I was in London and the sales assistant gave me three. I am not a shade three. This is so dark. So unfortunately this is going to go in my giveaway pile. Next I have the LA Girl Pro Conceal Concealers. Oh, I don't know. I, I feel like I've had this for ages now and it's getting like little dry chunks in it. No cat. Look at all the concealers you're keeping. We're gonna give this one away or throw it out. Actually, we're gonna throw this one out because it's getting too old. Uh, but the color correcting ones I'm gonna keep. These are actually really good. So yeah, I'm gonna keep them. Next up I have the Bourjois Healthy Mix Concealer. I used to love this concealer and I still do. I just never really reach for it anymore. I've had this one for so long now, I should probably throw it out. So that's what I'm gonna do. Next up, I have the NARS Soft Matte Complexion Concealers. So I haven't really had a chance to have like a really proper play with these, but they did feel so good when I tried them out. So I'm definitely keeping these. Next up, we have, let's do these all together. These are the NYX. So I've got the NYX Above and Beyond Full Coverage Concealers and the Dark Circle Concealer Corrector. These are bad. Like, I haven't even bothered opening this one. These are just so greasy. They just don't set on my skin, crease so badly. And I also feel like they just blend away to kind of nothing. I probably shouldn't say they're bad. Like, they're, they don't suit my skin. If you have oily skin, I would probably stay clear of these. They just don't seem to last on my skin. Also, I should put a little disclaimer in here. Uh, everything I talk about is my own personal experience, so what might not work for me might work brilliantly for you guys and vice versa. Next up is the Tarte Shape Tape. You guys know I'm keeping this. This is my holy grail concealer. I just can't speak highly enough of this concealer. It's got full coverage. You only need the tiniest amount. It blends out so easily. It doesn't crease. Perfect colors. It's the full package. So yes, definitely keeping this. Then I have the Benefit Erase Paste. I never reach for this anymore. It creases really badly under my eyes and I find it's just really thick, so just don't really like it. Then I've got like a little sample of the Fake Up Concealer by Benefit. I think this has got like an eye cream or some sort of moisturizer with it. It is just way too greasy for my oily skin, so definitely have to give this one away, unfortunately. Okay, we only have a few left. I feel like this video is really, really long and rushed, but we're gonna get through this, guys. We're gonna get through it together. So this is the Maybelline Superstay 24-hour concealer. Uh, I don't know. The hoarder in me is saying to keep it, but it's not a good color match for starters. Why, why should I even keep this cat? It's got like medium coverage. It lasts pretty well, but the color just doesn't look good on me. So goodbye. Then I have the Studio 10, uh, what is this? Hydra Lift Concealer. I haven't had a chance to give this a proper, how do you get open? There we go. A proper test. It does seem really dark for my skin, but I think I want to give it like a few more goes before I decide whether to keep or give it away or not. That can be on the keep pile and I'm just knocking everything over. 
The next concealer I have is the Sephora Concealer. What's this called? High Coverage Concealer. I actually really like the formula of this. It's got really good coverage and it lasts really long and it doesn't crease. And there's a motorbike outside. It's just, I got the color Beige Claire and it's way too light for me. So I'm gonna have to put this in the giveaway pile. We're on to the last concealer, guys. This is the Rimmel Wake Me Up Anti Fatigue Concealer. This is the new one with vitamin C. I love this one. I love this concealer so much. I love the original one of this as well. This does such a good job at brightening up my dark circles, so I am definitely keeping this. And that is all my concealers. So we got rid of 14 concealers today. I think we did a pretty good job, guys. So as usual, I hope you guys enjoyed watching. Don't forget to thumbs up and subscribe if you guys haven't already. Uh, let me know what category I should do next. Should I do powders, bronzers, blushes, highlighters, eyeshadow palettes? Let me know in the comments and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye guys!